For week number 10 of high school football final already the season in the books boys and it's been it's gone fast for sure wow. great year great I'm year Josh Stillings of WQEL and WBCO radio alongside Roger Miller of Mizzic Miller Lee Plymel of Plymel Insurance and Mr. Dean Williams of Dean's Trophy House high school football final is sponsored by Mizzic Miller Plymel Insurance and Dean's Trophy House as well as WQEL and WBCO radio as you can see this week we got the playoffs coming up on Friday this weekend and we are representing the four teams coming out of the N10 yeah, for yeah. the playoffs. So, wow. one of pay, yeah, pay tribute to those guys for sure. Pretty incredible. We have four teams come out of one league. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Quality awesome. football here in North Central Ohio. And uh, Dean, why don't you go ahead and kick it off this week, brother? Josh, thanks, man. I I tell you what, I'm going to go with my first pick, Zach Halk. Uh, Zach is a four-year letterman from Winford. He uh, obviously is on a playoff team and had a great game last week against Buckeye Central. 25 carries, 243 yards, three touchdowns, and a two-point conversion. Uh, don't know what he did on the defensive side of the ball, if he, if he even played, but uh, great, great Good football game, player. great year, great career at Solid high school kid. football. Congratulations, Zach. You got my sticker, bud. Awesome. All right, now I'll take it over to Sycamore, Ohio. We're going to honor Colin Cordell. He got a victory as well as... Along with the Mohawk Warriors, 44 to 14, killer game defensively for uh, Cordell. Ten tackles, four solo, four TFLs, one forced fumble, and two and a half sacks for Colin Cordell. You got my sticker this week, brother. Great. Great. I'm going back up to Upper Sandusky, where I'm going to honor. Sorry. I'd like to curve hurt seat there, in a moment. <laughs> Screw up a little bit. Um, Tyler Samet. Um, young man had a heck of a game on defense, had 14 tackles, 10 of which was solo, one behind the line of scrimmage. So, Tyler, you get my sticker. You know Buckeye Central had a tough year. You know, it was 0 for 10, I think. But I tell you what, they came out and played Winford tough on Friday night. They, they ended up getting beat, but they held uh, Winford down to 29. It was a 29-8 to 8 loss, but... Uh, my player of the week is going to go to Derek Reed. He's an offensive guard and a defensive tackle for the uh, Buckeye Central Bucks. He had 11 tackles, nine of them solo, one of them behind the line of scrimmage. And then his coach said that all year long he has been stellar on the offensive side of the ball as far as the offensive guard grading out every week over 90%. Yep. So my home sticker Absolutely. goes out to Derek Reed of Buckeye Central. Honor the there big uglies. Go. That's what we want to see. There we go. Fellas, next I'm going to pick uh, Graham Dick from Besires High School. He's a wide receiver, defensive back. Uh, the, Graham had a great, great night against Crestline. Three receptions for 102 yards, two carries for 12 yards, two touchdowns, four tackles, two solos. But there's more to Graham than just that last week. For the season, he's had, he set the Besires record for receiving yards of 822 yards and he set the career record for receptions of 132 so it, it just goes to show the kids quality through and through um, great job Graham Dick great career congratulations look to see big things on the basketball floor yes, from Graham too. absolutely <laughs> my turn and we'll go to Seneca East honoring Dylan Cornwell they got a big win against Carey 42 to 13 to close out their regular season and Dylan, one reception for three yards on a two-point conversion, which was good, and then just a stellar game on the other side of the ball. 14 tackles, 12 of them he did all by himself, four TFLs and two sacks. Dylan Cornwell, good luck in the playoffs, as well with the rest of the Seneca East Tigers. Dylan, you got my sticker. He did a hover thing, didn't he? Nice. Tackle two of them in the back room, didn't he? Get some, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Player of the week, I think uh, we all agree that uh, this young man is – Again, Dina mentioned he's had a heck of a football career and a heck of a football player for Winford Royals. Uh, we look for big things for him in the playoffs, but uh, Player of the Week is going to go to Zach Hout of Winford. You got a personalized plaque from Absolutely. Dean's Trophy House. So nice. Congratulations. Well deserved. What, yeah, well deserved, Zach. Uh, also, we want you know, obviously, this is our last uh, video uh, this year, and this is the end. And 
and congratulations to uh, all the football teams and players and good luck to the tournament teams. Um, but we, uh, we thank you all for watching us. Uh, we appreciate that. It's been uh, an incredible run. Uh, coaches and athletic directors, we appreciate what you've done and got the information into us and, mm -hmm. and uh, we can't do that without you. And obviously some of these helmets, uh, they have changed outdated. and outdated and we would love to have updated helmets to get the right things. I know several of them has changed on the, on, yeah. on the shelf here. So, But anyhow, we would just like to say thank you from, from all of us here. Uh, thank Absolutely. you for tuning in and watching us. So. Yep. Hey, and remember guys, pick up your t-shirt, sticker, subway card at the offices of Mizzick Miller in Upper Sandusky. You got it this week. And Cyrus. Please, please, so please, please, this, please. So I don't have to be embarrassed this week. Very good. So please come get them. All right, fellas, that's the season. And that's going to do it for another episode of High School Football Final. And I want to take this time to say thank you to these three guys for putting this on, making it possible each week, as well as the coaches and the ADs for contributing to the show. wouldn't be possible without any of you. Absolutely. So thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, you can find the video on the Facebook pages of Mizzick Miller, Plymouth Insurance, and WVCO and WQEL Radio. And we'll see you next year. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Don't hold this against me. <laughs> yes, dude! <laughs> <laughs>